We wanna to talk to you about how to recover from an injury. Accidents happen. These bodies get hurt. I can name a hundred ways that people walk through our doors with an injury. We see everything from overdoing it in the yard on a weekend, to falling off a ladder, to being in a terrible car accident. People sit on a plane for too long and hurt their back, or sleep on a pillow that's not theirs that's too firm. We help people who are injured and in pain all day long. I'm constantly thinking to myself, what do other people do? What if you're not my patient and, and you don't have help from a medical practitioner? How do people that throw their back out get out of pain? So here are a few tips for you next time you are injured. Immediately at the time of injury, you are going to want to manage acute inflammation. Within the first 48 hours, we recommend icing the area. If there is swelling, compression and elevation are also a good idea. You can ice as often as possible for the first day or two, then we want you to switch to heat. It is important to rest the area of injury. That may sound like common sense, but it's not for everyone. People do not like to be stopped. But if you don't give your body a break, you will likely be down for the count for even longer. So rest with an injury is really important. If you can see a practitioner to help you with the soft tissues, the muscles and the tendons, you will get better exponentially faster. Like I said, our patients get better so quickly when they're in our care. This is what we are trained to do. This is what we do all day long. We have techniques to get the muscles to go from tight and turned off, contracted, maybe sprained or strained, to relaxed and having their metabolism and actually working, which is what will provide you with pain relief. That muscle could be pulling on a tendon, causing tendonitis, or pulling on a structure, maybe your occiput, your bones causing headaches. We see it all the time, and so do so many other types of practitioners out there. Licensed massage therapists, physical therapists, chiropractors. This is what they specialize in. So enlist the help of a licensed professional that you trust. Together with that person, set up a treatment plan. It may take a few weeks to get you back to 100% and able to resume your normal daily activities. And we want you to ask them how often you need to come to their office for treatment and how, for how long and exactly what you can expect. Some injuries, especially car accidents and bike accidents, take so much longer than anyone would like to get better, to get the patient back to 100%. We see this in our clinic as well, and we have to set up people's expectations. We want you to use things like a natural version of Icy Hot. We use joint and muscle and somber gel in the clinic and tell our patients to use it on the area of pain several times a day. Seemingly benign, but it really does soak in and get the muscles to relax. We like to alternate that with a CBD cream to reduce inflammation in the area and relieve pain. Magnesium is also great for injuries in the form of bath, flake, bath flakes for a local or full body soak, a lotion that you can put on your muscles, or you can take it orally. Finally, after the first day or two, which I already said, we advise people to switch to heating their injury rather than using ice. We want to promote blood flow and movement for healing. Mindsets help too. People feel like being injured is an identity crisis. It's so hard to have something wrong with your body. Surrender and trust that you will get better. This is very likely a temporary pause in your life and you need to give your body time to heal and find patience around that. Of course, if you are sad and angry and feel broken and can't do what you wanna do, go ahead, cry into your pillow for as long as it takes and then resume the program. Trust and surrender, topical anti-inflammatories, treatment from a licensed medical professional, and patients.